And as you can see in this case, the cords are about two-thirds of the length of the panel track. And uh, we're going to try and bring them up about another 10 inches. In this case, I have them installed on some racking, uh, so it'll be easy to, to see uh, when, I, when I lift up that loop and it gets a little higher. So on the end of the panel track, the very last panel has this little component we call a pilot runner installed inside the track. And that's where we're going to remove the Velcro hanger to get at the cords to shorten them. A small screw, screwdriver will be enough just to loosen these up so that they don't bite into the aluminum anymore. They're very small screws, so if, you do, if they do come out, you want to be careful about uh, where they go. So then, you can slide this end cap off. So now that I've loosened all those screws, I'm just going to start to, to pull out that end cap. And you'll notice on the other side of the end cap, you can see where the uh, cords... Not too clearly. Where the cords loop around right here forming the pulley that draws the cords in the panels backwards and forwards. So as I begin to pull this off, you can see the cords which loop around the end cap here coincide with the channels that the cords are traveling in here on the end cap, right there. So that's the position that the, the end cap is going to go back in so that you make sure that uh, you have it on the right position. You can see that the cords are open on the end cap, so once you actually start to turn the end cap around, like this, and just do that, the loop, is, uh, the loop comes out of this end cap. Now what you want to do is you want to take this last panel and feed it right out the end cap. And it's going to look like this as it, as it pops out the end. And then the uh, parts with the cords inside it are going to be exposed right here. I'm going to take this part and I can take it off and turn it around and I can see the cords. Now I can grab either one of these cords and pull it forward. You'll notice that these cords are burned on the top. They're burned on the top in order to give it a kind of mushroom head. So as I pull on this it begins to come out of the part, and I just keep pulling and pulling, and every every foot, every 12 inches that I pull out of this is going to adjust the uh, the loop on the cords by by half that, by six inches. So in this case, I'm taking out about uh, 20 inches of cord, which is going to shorten the the uh, the loop on the draw cords by about 10 inches. So now what I'm going to do is um, this, this cord easily comes out of this part just by pulling it to the side here. It's a little difficult to do with one hand. Uh, just like that. Just like this. So this is the loop or the part of the cord where I, I'm going to decide I'm going to make that cut to shorten the loop on the cords by 10 inches. Now you can simply cut this cord, just like that, and now I can lose that, uh, I can lose that shorter piece of cord, and just, you know, put it on the floor. Now I'm ready to take the other length of the cord, which as you can see is pretty fluffy, and I need to make a mushroom head out of this by burning it. So what I'm going to do is basically burn the end of this. I'm not setting it on fire because then you'll have a, a bigger problem. I'm kind of just melting the end without setting it on fire. You can begin to see that the head is beginning to mushroom, but in order to get it to, to mushroom completely, I normally just stamp that out on the side of the lighter. You want to do that quickly because it'll uh, it'll stick otherwise. And what you get on the end is essentially this this mushroom head that will fit back inside that part and 
be large enough that it won't pull through when the cords are pulled through. So now that I've shortened the cord, I just want to put this cord back into its position in the pilot runner. So once you pull it into the part, it'll look like this, but I want to pull it just a little bit to the left so that it fills that little round cavity inside the part. Just like this. And so now you can see that that mushroom head sits right down flat inside that part. So now we're ready just to put that back into the headrail. So as you put this back together, you want to make sure that that pilot runner is seated correctly on the panel carrier. And then as you begin to push it back in, you want to make sure that these cords are wrapped around this side of the part. So as it slides in, those cords will go right into their appropriate groove. Just like that. And this other cord is going to come out this way as you're pushing that in. Just like that. So it's still coming out of its appropriate channel. Then your other cord is going to be hanging down outside of its channel. You just raise it up and move it across so it catches in there. Then if we end up with a little too much cord here on this side, we're just going to go to the other side and raise the loop up on that side. So as I pull down on the on the lift cord to get that loop smaller on the end where we took the end cap off, you can see that it's just raising itself up all the way up to the top and you want to get all the way up to about here so you don't have too much extra cord around when you're going to put that end cap on. So here we have just a small amount of cord left before we put the end cap back on. So now you want to take your end cap and loop that cord around the last position there because that's, that's where it's going to go. Make sure your end cap is in exactly the way I'm showing here. So the cord is positioned exactly like that as you're sliding that um, end cap on. Sometimes you'll find that you can take a little hammer and whack it into place gently to, um, to get the end cap to sit all the way in there. And then you're ready to screw these screws back into position once you've got the whole thing sitting properly. Like that. So just screw all the screws back into the position so that uh, the end cap won't pop up back off again and they're biting down into the aluminum. So now your end cap is all put back together and the panels are aligning on the end just as before. And the difference now is that we've uh, adjusted the length of that loop going up onto the panel track by about 10 inches just by pulling out 20 inches worth of cord from uh, the pilot runner inside the headrail.